Passing a single day milestone, and the numbers are expected to keep rising. Over 100,000 COVID 19 cases reported in the U.S. in a single day. Wink News Health and Medical Reporter Veronica Marshall explains whether it's too late to turn this around and what it all depends on. Angie Mikett is a COVID survivor, both mentally and physically. It was kind of a weird balance of feeling physically bad but also feeling kind of mentally, you know, that, that guilt. Unfortunately, many more people will experience it as well as we move into the holidays. We see people who are, I'm using the word, letting people into their bubble, and we're seeing a lot of family transmissions. Dr. David Lindner says that's not the only reason our daily positive case rates are rising. COVID really depends on, I'm going to use the term, population density. Southwest Florida is getting busier. More than 6,200 new cases in Florida today. The purple line on this CDC graph highlighting our upward trend. And that's in line with the national numbers, which is a problem. The U.S. hit the new milestone of 100,000 new cases per day. We are still on the steep part of this unfortunate rising curve. Harvard doctor Thomas Tsai studies the trends. We don't want to miss a window where, you know, the 100,000 cases that we're seeing become 125,000, 150,000, 200,000 cases. At that point, you know, we may need a wide-scale lockdown. And Tsai's model already recommends stay-at-home orders here in southwest Florida. Veronica Marshall, Wink News Now. Dr. Sai says we need to mask up, social distance, and wash our hands to avoid another lockdown. He also says we need to make testing more accessible and more affordable and encourage asymptomatic people to get tested. And it's not just the country that is hitting high numbers. No, it's not. Florida today reported 6,257 new cases, the biggest jump since September 1st. And that jump isn't out of the blue. We're seeing a consistent increase in new COVID cases. For the last five weeks, the number of COVID-19 cases reported each week has increased. In the last seven days, the state reported just under 33,000 cases, the most cases in one week since the week ending August 13th. New cases aren't increasing as rapidly as back in July, but definitely something we want to keep our eye on.